Yeah, uh, so a bit of prospect, it uh, comes out of a long-standing interest I've had in representations of the polar regions. Um, polar regions are found interesting for a lot of reasons that a lot of people do. It's far away and it's inaccessible. Um, it has a very strange uh, sort of both visual look and appeal to it. In the piece, Albedo Prospect, um, the, uh, first the title comes from Albedo as a reference for you know, white, uh, the color white. Um, and Prospect is not only uh, sort of a kind of a venture to go out and look for something, but it's also a view. So there's this kind of like the idea of looking for the scene that's primarily white and what that view is like. Um, so those, those two things come together in the title. So um, the piece was shot up in um, Svalbard in northern, uh, it's off the, the northern coast of Norway. It's also known as Spitsbergen. Um, it's, there are not very many people that live there. There's only one main town. Um, but I went up there uh, to sail around on a ship with a few other artists for a couple of weeks. We would stop every day somewhere and, and go on the land and, and uh, you know, shoot footage and do whatever we were, we were doing. Um, so in the piece, I uh, brought back all this material and wanted to set it up in such a way that you have the space for looking for a very long time at some of these scenes. So there's a kind of space for contemplation. But then also in the, the sounds, there's a, a, a live mix of a lot of sounds that were recorded up there. And the sounds are, are presented pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of processing that goes on with it. Um, and I wanted to, to do that because uh, first, trying to process it in any way um, that was really obvious seemed to, to not work with the material. But second, it's it's the only place I've been where there's, there isn't that sort of residual background hum that we're used to, you know, just the hum of the cities, there's no planes going overhead, you know, it's really quiet up there. Um, so even though we're, when you see this piece, we're in a gallery, there's all this stuff around, there's the normal noise. Um, uh, the sounds that you hear are from a space where all that kind of normal, the thing that we know is normal in the acoustic field is gone. So yeah, so in, in the piece there are a number of water sounds, both uh, recorded on the surface of the water and then underwater, um, a number of places where I recorded underneath um, big ice fields. So you hear this kind of crackling, there's a lot of activity in there, it's a lot of air escaping from the ice and crackling and, and whatnot. Um, there's also a number of sounds recorded on land, so you hear some footsteps and you hear uh, sometimes a little bit of wind and stuff. The projections are set up uh, sort of independently. The, the ones, the, the two outside ones are just uh, continual shots. One's looking down at an ice field as the boat was kind of drifting through uh, a whole set of icebergs and, and stuff in front of a glacier. Um, the other, the shot on the other end is a, a long pan of a glacier and then a, a bay inlet. Um, so you see the, the face of the glacier going by and then you see the, the boat sort of turns around and, and you see the inlet where the, the glacier sort of uh, spills out into. Um, both of those scenes were filmed in uh, infrared uh, during daylight conditions. So you have a very reduced color field and it lends it a very specific kind of uh, visual quality. This is one of the, the things I come across in uh, looking at the visual representations of the polar regions was that you get a lot of traditional landscape portraiture and you know I could figure out how to do that but it's, I'm not really super interested in it. But shooting in infrared meant that I would have a very different kind of view. I would come up with a very different artifact of that same kind of material. When I've shown this piece before, there are certainly people that come in and just sort of hang out and stay for a long time, and which is, which is really good. Part of that idea is, is yeah, the, the way that seemed um, to be the most, uh, I wouldn't say useful, but the, the most natural to experience these the, the scenes that I was visiting was to, to be still and sort of try and take it in. It's, it's not uncommon. Um, so I wanted to try and uh, uh, use that as a structuring method in presenting the work.